Hello, everybody. This is The Van Show, and today we're talking to my friend, Kate DiCamillo. Say hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, it's so, I'm so happy to have you on the show. Oh, I'm so glad to be on the show. Here, you got a little bit of fuzz on you. I'm going to... Uh, wait, that's all of you. Yeah, I got no, a lot of it. Yeah, okay, yeah. You look good. Thank you. Yeah. You look good, too. Uh, you can't... Okay. Right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now, Kate, we want to know a little bit about you. Okay. So first of all, tell us where you're from. Uh, where I live now. Or, or where you grew up. And, and, you want to and know the whole history of, my, of where I've lived? Well, this is a 10-minute show, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So where, where I live now is Minneapolis, Minnesota. And where I grew up was a small town in central Florida. And where I was born was Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. How's that? Whoa. Yeah. Now, did you spend a lot of time in Philadelphia, or was it like you were born and then moved right to Florida? Um, I was there for five years before we moved to, to Florida. Okay. So not a ton of memories from there, I would I've guess. I've got a ton of memories oh, really? from there, actually. Yeah. Wow, you've got a good memory. I can't remember stuff from when I was 10. Do you remember my name? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, Kate, okay, of course. Okay, all right, okay, good. Now, um, Kate, I want to know, what's your favorite thing about Florida, or Central Florida specifically? My favorite thing about Central Florida, uh, if you really made me pick just one thing, it would be uh, the public library that uh, was uh, there when I was growing up, which was this little house that uh, uh, had been converted into a library. And I still dream about that, that library. I loved it. That's, Aww. yeah. And did, did you have a favorite book when you were little uh, that you'd like to go to at the library? No, every book was my favorite book. Oh, yeah? I, I was just a kid who loved to read. So I kind of like read without discretion. Mm, oh, yeah. uh, now, you, you're an author, That's, as, as everyone yeah, knows. I, yeah, I like, to, I like to say writer. Writer. Oh, yeah, oh. author makes me nervous. It's it's a little too formal. Yeah, and it's it's like something that you've already done, and writing is something that you keep on doing. Ah, I yeah. like that. All right, so you're a writer. I'm a writer. And uh, how early on did you start writing? Um, I didn't actually officially sit down and start to do it on a regular basis until I was uh, almost 30 years old. Oh yeah. Yeah. What were you doing before that? Um, if you'd like to share that with us. I'd love to share anything you want me to share. All I, right. I, I was um, going around talking about being a writer, and uh, I worked at Disney World for a long time. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. were, you, were you working on the monorail? No, I was working at Spaceship Earth, and I wore a uh, polyester spacesuit <gasps> that was basically the same color as you. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. So you spent a lot of time being blue just like me. Yeah, I did. I did, and I told people to, to watch their step. Watch your step. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep yeah. your hands inside the vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> How many in your party? <laughs> <laughs> one up front, two in the back, look down and watch your step. How many in your party, please? Two up front, two in the back, look down and watch your step, please. Yeah. I can still do it. That's great. I did it for a long time. Now, yeah. Kate, did, have you used any of that experience in any of your books? Your experience at Disney World? No, but it's funny because no one's ever really asked that question. But when I think about it, um, Disney is where I uh, learn to interact with people because you have to be so you have to be you're on stage that's what they call it um, and so I was always a shy kid and um, and Disney taught me how to pretend to be an extrovert I guess yeah, yeah. Look, break out of your show well that's what they say what is it fake it till you make it right 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 I, I still haven't made it but I'm I'm still faking it ah, ah, mm -hmm. ah. you could have fooled all of us <laughs> <laughs> now, Are you Kate, supposed to laugh at your own jokes? Of course, everyone loves that. I mean, Jimmy <laughs> Fallon got a whole show based on doing that. <laughs> so, 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 Kate, um, I, I want to talk a little bit about your books. But first, uh -huh. one thing I've noticed, and other people have, is that you come up with some amazing character names. Yeah, it's the only part of writing that's easy for me. It just comes naturally, like, like yeah, you're just like pop desperate. Yeah, into my head, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, so I've got a couple characters I want to give you and see if you can name them. Okay. Okay. Can I close my eyes? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, really, really get into it. Okay. The first character is a chicken farmer <laughs> who becomes a private detective. <laughs> okay. Just give me a second. Oh yeah. Would it help if Alphonse I did? Alphonse Bailey the Third. Whoa! Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Alphonse Bailey the Third. Yeah. Private Eye. Uh huh. Burp, burp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You want to write the book? <laughs> I'd love to. Yeah, we can co-author it. Yeah, right. All right, I've got one more. And this is this is a animal character. Okay. A chicken that becomes a pilot. <laughs> 
Frederica Hammersmith. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Right. Now I. I she I, wears I, aviator goggles. It's great. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Now I, I I've mentioned chickens a few times because my favorite book of yours I love all of them, but is Louisa Adventures of a Chicken. Oh. Louise, yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you that book it, right? is so incredible. It it brings a tear to my eye every time. I I, I really see myself in that chicken. <laughs> Why is that? Is that because you have feathers, or just because you're? <laughs> You're brave. No, because, yeah, because I, you and know. clueless, like Louise. I didn't grow up in a, in a coop, per se. Mm -hmm. But I do like to get out and travel the world and see lots of different stuff and, and kind of, um, you know, do something different than the norm. Yeah, she's an intrepid chicken. Intrepid chicken. Yeah, and you're That's an your next book. puppet. Intrepid chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that can be the title of your autobiography. Really? Yeah, intrepid chicken. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kate, um, we're going to get some audience questions, but before we do that, mm -hmm. I want, real quick, mm -hmm. I want to talk about the book that you brought. So I want you to oh. imagine, yeah, yep. I want you to imagine that this book's been made into a movie, mm -hmm. and you're going to do the, 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 the trailer for that movie. I am? Wow. Uh-oh. Okay. Right? Okay, yeah. so, so it, here's how we start it. We start it with, in a world, <laughs> and then you, then you talk about the book. Can you do that? In a world. Yes. Deep Within the interior of Florida, three girls have found themselves being forced to learn how to twirl a baton. Whoa. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. yeah. That's when you get that sound they do in the movie trailers. Right. Goes, That's great. You're good Mwah. at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> will they twirl or will, what, 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 what should I say next? Will they twirl or will they Not. squirrel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, Kate, do you want to hear some questions from the kids? Sure, yeah. Me I'd too. Love to, yeah. All right, Devo, let's hit it. Uh, what was your reaction when you heard they were making a movie based on your book? I was super, super excited. The thing about uh, movies is, is they act as great advertisements for books, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, people find their way to the book because of the movie, and it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, they always yeah. do that thing where they reprint the book with the po the movie poster on it. Now a major motion picture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How old are you? I am 54 years old. I was just, that's right at the top of my head because I was just saying to somebody earlier that by the time you get this old, you kind of like forget and you sometimes think that you're like 25, you know, <laughs> so I have to think about it, so. 54 is the new 25. Not really, but that's okay, <laughs> yeah. Did I like writing as a kid? I never really wrote as a kid. Um, when I was growing up, uh, we just learned how to write essays. We didn't write stories. But I'm glad to see you anyway. I am a teacher, and we use Tiger Writing. Oh. Oh. So Tiger Rising is uh, the story of uh, a boy named Rob Horton who finds a live tiger uh, in, in the cage in the woods. And where did the idea come from? Rob, the main character, was actually in a short story that I had written as a secondary character. And this will happen sometimes where you like finish and then the character hangs around, which makes me sound kind of crazy. But I just knew that he wanted something and I didn't know what it was. Van, you're doing a good job of listening to me. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm attentive. And so um, I just, it, it was like kind of like I was haunted by him. And then my mom uh, was living in Florida still at the time and she called me and told me that a tiger had escaped from the zoo. Oh. And it's like, that's, that's what he needs. Yeah, he needs a tiger. And he also needed Sistine Bailey. I just didn't know that either. She's a, she's a tiger in human form. Yeah. My kids always love Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Tell the kids, hey. Why did you start writing books? Why did I start writing books? I'd spent a lot of time telling people to watch their step, and I thought, there's got to be something else out here to do, <laughs> right? Yeah. There's more things to tell people. You're right. <laughs> right. So uh, the tips I have you probably already know, but I'm going to tell them to you anyway. Um, you need to read as much as you can, and I'm sure you're already doing that. And then you need to find some deal uh, that you can make with yourself about how you're going to do the work. So for me, I just decided I was going to do two pages a day no matter what. And you probably, even though you're still in school, right, you, 
you still have time to get in two pages a day. And then the other thing is um, carry a notebook with you. And uh, do you have a notebook? Okay, all right. <laughs> and just write down what you see and uh, what you overhear and, and what pops into your head. Yeah. How many books? Um, I tried to think of this earlier and I couldn't come up with the exact number. I think it's 24 or 25 that are out in the world. Wow. Yeah, yeah I know. That's impressive. Right? Uh, yeah. How did I come up with the ideas for any of the books? Um, well, it goes back to that notebook that I always say to carry around because what I found is you'll see a lot of stuff in the world that you think might be the beginning of a story and I keep a list in the back of the notebook of what I call sparks, little story ideas that I see out in the world. And then also, I'd sometimes just strange things will pop into my head, like character names, Yeah. right? Like Henrietta, the chicken pilot. Um, <laughs> and so, and, and uh, sometimes a character name is enough to start a story with. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.